been looking at some of the harder skills, like construction. There's a guy called Solo Mission. He is, um, he or she, or she, or she, or she. Solo Mission Exposed. Is rank one. Uh, 89 construction only. So you're not even getting close to 99. While this is an account I haven't seen in a while, throwback to the hardcore Iron Man times, probably about a year since I've even logged on this account, apart from when it got hacked, it did also get hacked, but they didn't bother to drop anything from this account, as it's just a little Iron Man sitting here with its two mil bank. But yeah, we're back, gonna do another King of the Skill, gonna be going for Fletching this time. I've already got rank one construction, and you can see the previous video just by clicking on my channel. I'm not going to bother linking it, just go and find it yourself if you haven't seen it already. Pretty interesting, got rank 1 con, and yeah, from as far as I know, I can only not tell what one person's doing. This guy called Ezlo, I might put his stats up on screen, he's only training con and crafting, and he's logging in every few minutes for a little bit, and then logging out again, so we started off at the stronghold, of course, to grab that first 10k so we could buy some initial things. As everyone always does, definitely efficient in this case, I would think. Go, there's no spiders. Oh, of course it crawled over there. Oh no. Eat. Oh, 7 HP. I'm going to just go. I can get back here fast. Please don't hit a 7. This spider, get the pair on. Oh, 5, that's alright, 5 HP, won't die. How did it hit me through the door? Okay, never mind. Dead in Lumbridge. Let's go back and probably wasted about 30 seconds there. Okay, so you can pick up some meats and beers in here if you didn't know already. I figure I may as well do this. It's only a waste of a, like 20 seconds more, but it'll probably stop us dying for a second at a time, which would be very annoying indeed if it actually happened. But we haven't really wasted that much time. It would have wasted far more time, so I'll go and get teas or cake or something to do it in the first place. So, yeah, not too bad. Well, we've drunk all our beer, feeling pretty drunk. 7 HP, let's go. Please don't hit 7. Yeah, it won't be able to hit me again. Nice, there we go. Got the 10k from the stronghold in the bag, in the bag, in the back pocket, in the whatever. But yeah, let's go and claim our cash now. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. The XP random event. Oh yes, that's so good. And... I'll explain why that is so good while I'm doing this event. So, Druidic Ritual gives you 15 herb lore. Bread. And... Yeah, it gets you 15 herb lore. And to use a herb and tar for 3 ticking, you need 19 herb lore. And you can get this through the XP of a random event. So I'm going to get this book, and I'm going to save it until I finish the Druidic Ritual quest. This is actually part of my initial plan on my other account, but I didn't get an XP random for... 12 plus hours on that account so I had to get herbal XP in some other method so yeah that's very nice I, that means I can 3 tick from level 1 woodcutting so that puts me at a mass advantage over other people doing the fletching skill for sure hello Zaf give us the staff today spending our freshly made 10k the staffs are all here it's not day of release anymore nice just gonna buy some runes to get uh great there we go door slam the, that mugger gonna buy some runes to go and kill some men so that we can get some guams and get the meats for druidic ritual and here we go here is the end of the druidic ritual quest on a bit low hp right here nearly misclicked on that druid as well what the hell but yeah we should be getting above 19 herb lore after we use this xp book there we go there's 15 from the quest times 10 xp and the book gives us 20 so now i can three tick i just need some herbs and we are good to go with the tar. Here we go, a lot more lucky this time. Weren't spending time camping for like 15 minutes for the herbs, so I'm gonna buy steel axe real quick, go and get my tar from the swamp, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I'm three ticking in from half an hour in, and we've got 7k cash left. The plan is to train up to 60 woodcutting then go and get Hasidia's favor and get in the woodcutting guild because then we'll have access to the rune axe and we will have access to the woodcutting boost i think it's plus seven levels which is invisible so that will be able us to cut the trees a lot faster i'm pretty sure a lot of the front page fletchers have been doing this already so yeah i got the 60 woodcutting and here we go the client of karend quest 
will be completed and if you didn't know you do get two XP lamps from this quest and let's talk about the client and complete this quest of course you get double Hasidia's favor gaining once you complete it and you also get 20% in a chosen house so of course I will choose choose the who's Ugh, choose the choose the host house. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it on her floor as well because it will get me 30. I think there we go, and it should be close to 31. There we go. That's like two herb cleans. And if I mess up with the tar, then I can use my rental tar as well at level 31. So it's a bit of an insurance policy. Now I actually forgot that you need to buy compost to do Hasidia's favor, so I need to make some money. And I've been hopping and selling five willow longbow use at a time to the general store. And with the cash, we're gonna go and buy some very overpriced compost. I need 550, so let's just buy 600. And yeah, there we go, should be done. I'm going to get in Hasidia's favor. Been digging that salt petre for about half an hour or so, and this should be like the last thing we're having to do. To get the city's favor there we go 75 percent didn't mess that up and we can have access to the woodcoin guild which is going to be our home for the next 20 hours of this video so i saved a bit of money i earned a bit more money so i could straight away buy an addy axe because it is a big big upgrade over the steel so it should be about 4k nice got it so i've been banking my willow longbow use and I've come over to a general store to sell five at a time and then log out for five minutes. And hopefully all this should give me 40k cash by the end because you're not selling to exhaustion and you actually get some decent money. So yeah, hopefully this enables us to get enough money for the rune axe and then I won't have to do anything else. I can just three tick for the whole remaining time left. So yeah, I think this is probably efficient. The rune axe it will be worth it for so much time left over the Adi axe. And this really isn't swallowing up, swallowing up that much time in the long run because I spend a lot of time locked out. A hey, 42k, we're done. Let's go back into the woodcutting guild. And where is my mate Perry? Give us this rune axe. The rune axe has been achieved. Money left over, but that is going to go straight on the floor because I'm not even going to waste time going to the bank because don't need anything else more on this account now got like two herbs in the bank as well and some more tar in the bank here we go the rank one fletching coming in i think it's four six twelve k uh don't pay attention to the xp an hour on the side i mean i've been logging out restarting it etc and yeah it would just drop this invo and then log out we should be able to see ourselves get to rank one fletching on the high scores there we are at the moment in rank five refresh that and we're rank one again. Nice, there's the thumbnail. And we're rank one. Decent. Fletching high scores. I'm doing all right. I think I've looked up most people and I think my method is definitely faster than theirs. So I think we should be able to shoot for about six mil overall. I think we've got like four, four hours 50 left on the clock. I didn't remember to look at that, but it should be around that. So six mil overall should be doable for me as I've calculated it. So yeah, very happy with that one. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little insight into going for a high rank on King of the Skill. Now, there is something I've noticed ever since I've like literally got the rank one and I was just like clicking around, looking on other people and there's definitely something faster for fletching, which is really annoying. Maybe not a conventional method, but it's definitely faster. So this rank one is not gonna be permanent, I'm afraid. Unless I've just missed thought about what the other person's doing. So, yeah, probably not going to be rank one by the end of the month. But hopefully, maybe we'll stay top five or something on this account. We'll see. Maybe I've, maybe I've miscalculated it and it's actually fine. Or the guy just doesn't log into his account for the rest of the month or something like that. Who knows? But for now, we're rank one construction and a rank one fletching. So maybe the only person holding down two rank ones at once. I'm not going to finish the five hours up just yet because I've got debates, a debate in for next week. I've got an essay in for next week and I'm going to France this weekend. So don't really have any time to play for the coming week. Anyway, thanks for all the support on the last video. I think it's at 40k views, which is pretty mad considering I, take, I took like a one month break before posting it. So yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm the king of two skills, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Thanks, guys.